All right, good afternoon. Um, I've got some pretty bad news, but other than that, uh, everything's going well. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and remind everybody that this is gonna be an ongoing journey with these black belly sheep. And uh, if you haven't done so already, please subscribe. So that's one of the little ram lambs there. And uh, they don't like me talking very much, but if you're a regular, you'll notice that I'm missing a few lambs. And uh, that could have been one of two things, but I'm pretty sure I know what caused it. Uh, unfortunately, I lost two sheep, and, um, and I lost them to bloat. I didn't necessarily lose them, as in I found them dead. I came over and I found them in pretty rough shape. I did what I could and I seen that they were not going to recover from the bloat so I instead of suffering a total loss I suffered a partial loss and I butchered them. Um, I was going to take a video but unfortunately when it happened it was uh, I got home about 11 p.m. from work so I kind of just went through it and got it all done didn't get to bed till about 6 a.m. Uh, so, yeah, it was interesting and very, very unexpected. Uh, the problem was I gave them corn and I gave them steam flaked corn and I gave them too much too fast. So the goats, they're pretty good on grain and they're not too bad. Uh, they're I could feed them a lot of grain and they're not gonna be you know they're not gonna bloat the problem was these sheep were more than likely never fed grain uh, because they were two that came from a different farm and then these two girls over here they must have been fed grain and uh, they they were fine they didn't suffer any type of bloat issues or anything maybe those two just gorged on the grain on the corn I'm not a hundred percent sure um, but what I do know is the go the corn definitely caused it or a combination of the corn and this really lush green grass but I've learned a lot from it I've learned one these sheep do not need grain to build fat because as I was butchering them even after after them lambing out these are the two lambs, unfortunately. These are the two orphan lambs right here. Um, even after lambing out, and as you can see, one of them lambed out not too long ago. Even after lambing out, they were still, they had a lot of uh, fat on them. Not like a whole lot of fat, but they had enough fat that I'm not gonna grain them or give them very, very little grain as a treat or something, you know? Um, rather unfortunate did not want to lose them did not want to go you know go that route i was really looking forward to bringing them again this year um actually in probably a few months but unfortunately things turned to you know they turned for the worst and they uh they ended up going to freezer camp earlier than expected um another thing is um there's a possibility that they might have gotten some nitrate poisoning but I don't think so or nitrogen poisoning but I don't think so because um, their blood was not like chocolate when it's chocolate colored then that means that they had nitrate po poisoning uh, due to all the nitrogens forming a compound in the blood and not it it not being hemoglobin and not allowing the hemoglobin to absorb oxygen and transfer it throughout the body but uh anyway it was pretty dark but that was just because their bellies were so darn full that it was pushing up against the uh, lungs and the heart again i actually did burp them out and they were fine they were kind of deflated but what ended up happening was they were in that condition for so long that they just were not rebounding so unfortunately i had to I just took the, the best route possible, which was to go ahead and uh, 
get them situated and uh, butcher them out. I'm still gonna go ahead and process one of these ram lambs. Actually, I'm gonna process all of them. If not, I'm gonna trade one for another ram or I might keep one ram now that uh, unfortunately the other rams are gone so or the other uh, sheep are gone so now we could go ahead and figure something out about that uh, maybe I will keep one of these rams because they are completely unrelated uh, like that big boy right here on this side uh, he's completely unrelated to these girls over here so I could definitely keep them uh, I'm not gonna lie I'm still a little bummed out I lost I lost a third of my of my use uh, in one shot and the worst part is uh, is definitely my fault but back to the nitrate poisoning um, nitrate poisoning is we've I threw some fertilizer down on one pat paddock and uh, I gave it about a few weeks and we had a lot of rain and then we didn't have any rain and then we got a, a really good rain so I'm wondering if that might have been something that also contributed to it I don't know in the end uh, either for whatever reason that they died they scoured and I think they bloated and they died that because of that reason um, regardless how you look at it it was my fault my doing so that's why I'm kind of beating myself up about it and I'm kind of a little upset about the whole situation so the grass is good enough that they don't need the grain. Um, I've got several different types of grasses in here and grain grasses and just everything, uh, small grains. So there, there's no actual need for the grain itself. There's plenty of carbohydrates in the grass. Their condition is pretty good. The only reason why I was supplementing with grain was because I was trying to get these lambs to fatten up a little faster. Um, unfortunately, high performance, uh, can hurt it you know it's just like with a car you can always uh you can always up the boost or turn up the nitrous but you're gonna end up hurting a piston or burning a valve and unfortunately for me i lost two cylinders <laughs> so time to rebuild time to replace and we'll move forward so that's it Thanks again, and we'll see you next time.